Hello everyone, my name is Sejo, and today, Fly Season 8, Episode 15. So, this episode was, it was, it was, it was it, you know, it was good, yeah. So, let's get into it. So, we start this episode with Barry finally realizing that Iris is missing, and you know, she's going to the apartment, and her work, and she's just not here. So, he goes to Flash, to Team Flash, and they try to look for her too, but they say they can't find her and then we go up over to Caitlyn and Chill Blaine. Chill Blaine is basically saying to Caitlyn that he doesn't feel right actually trying to bring Frost back and he's just like you know you need to give this up <laughs> and all that stuff so Caitlyn you know she's just like you know she's like saying she's in her right mind to bring Frost back and all that stuff and she starts saying that she's going to need a new sample because the hair that she got from her is decaying. So, yeah. Anyway, we meet back up with Barry because they came up with a plan to go ask Tanya to send him to that same place that she sent Iris when she made her disappear or whatever. So, he goes to confront her, but of course she says no and says she hates him and her wife or whatever. So, yeah, that's when Dion shows up and freezes time and tells him that he knows the whole thing about Iris and he's here to help. So he's going to bring him into the Steel Force. So he talks to the rest of the team and they pretty much think it's an okay idea. And except for Joe. Joe, he points it out that, you know, you don't know what Dion is going on. Like, you need to really think about this. Like, this is Dion's plan. But what about, you know, your plan? Like, what do you think about this? So, so Barry disagrees with she should be. I have a whole problem with this thing. Like, it doesn't really make any sense how Joe thinks that Dion is evil, even though he's never even talked to Dion throughout this entire episode. Throughout this entire season, yeah, he's never talked to Dion. So I don't see why he would ever think that he was evil. And he's never even seen him. So I don't, I don't understand why he would think he's evil. And neither should Barry, because he hasn't shown anything of malicious intent at all. So I don't I don't really understand this conversation. It just it's weird. Anyway, Kramer hits up Chester because this whole machine went haywire and her injured a whole bunch of people and all that stuff. So she needs him to take a look at it. So they enter the steel force and they go looking for Iris and all that stuff. So they go to Central City media or something and they see allegra who has been who has actually been encountered by taylor who tells that she was going to reveal her identity throughout the whole world which i mean if allegra is still going around fighting crime without a mask her and cecile then <laughs> it's not gonna be much be like yeah, I saw her last Tuesday. What, what, like, it's exactly. I saw her last Tuesday. We already knew Allegra, who Allegra was, bro. What you talking about? So, I hope they don't do this storyline. I really do. Barry, please, when you get back to, like, uh, out of the Steel Force, please tell Allegra that, you know, please tell her that you, that you need to put on a mask, because that's pretty obvious. Anyway, they find Tanya's mom and she's completely confused and she asks for help but then she disappears and Barry of course he tells Dion he's like okay we need to go save her and we need to bring Iris with us too you know get Iris in her but Dion disagrees and says you know we got to go to Iris come on like we're so close and here you could actually see he is slowly twisting like he just sounds very twisted to me like when I was watching it he sounded very twisted and all that so yeah but they figure out where Iris is and they go on the hunt. So then Chester finally gets into the office and they have a little conversation. But he figures out that the machine was actually from his design that he showed some of his streamers. So that's what he's thinking. He's thinking like the machine that he showed how to build was actually, well, that's how actually how it got built. One of his streamers studied off of him and, you know, they built this. So, of course, he blames himself for this because, well, I mean, he's partially to blame. And, of course, Kramer's kind of confused by this, and she starts asking, like, what's going on? But, of course, he doesn't explain. So, anyway, they finally see where Iris is, and she's just this green ball. So, Dion goes over to touch it and absorbs it, and it's revealed that he tricked Mary, and he puts him in his family home, and he is trapped there. He's trapped in the still force. 
So I don't know why he turned. I guess it's the time sickness thing. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Anyway. Oh, sorry. I didn't have the volume up. My bad. Anyway, we go over to Nora and she's looking at this old newspaper. She's trying to get a newspaper or whatever. Dion comes and tells her about the whole thing and she gets trapped in the Silk Force with Barry. And yeah. So then we move over to Chester. He says he's going to give up streaming because, well, that thing happened. Allegra tries to convince him to not, which is what she like. Chester's like, well, you were before you were telling me that it was a bad idea. But now she's like, you know, you're and just help people and all that. So I don't I don't know why she did that. That That's a weird switch. I don't I don't understand why she did that. Anyway, Barry, he you know, he's about to just get ready to give up. Nora gives him a pep talk and. They come with the idea to focus their energy on the steel force so he can manifest it. So, yeah. So Barry, he focuses on the brush and manifests the steel force, which summons Joe. And Joe can pretty much see them in the steel force and they can see him and, you know, kind of confused by this. So Barry, he successfully does it. He can control the steel force now. And he actually sees the past, present, and future. He brings up a number of names like Jesse, Harry, uh, Bart, and his kids. We don't know the names of them. Uh, Nora and her wife and all that stuff. But he also brings up the name Max. Max Mercury is what they're referring to, I'm guessing. So Max Mercury, okay, so he was a messenger. And actually, he's the first ever speedster. He's the first ever speedster to exist. Basically, he was just a messenger. He met up with this tribe. It's called the Blackfoot Clan. They got wiped out, and he went over to the chief. He asked, and the chief told him to get to avenge their tribe. He gifted them powers and all that stuff. And yeah, yeah. So after that, he became Quicksilver. I know. I know. I know. I know. Quicksilver. So yeah, he got his speedster powers, not the way that they usually get them, but yeah, he now he has something with Bart basically. He's his mentor. He went back to he went back to the he, well, he went to the future and Bart and him met and they became friends and he became his mentor teaching them all the speedster ways and all that stuff. Yeah. So anyway, Barry, he gives Nora some of his um still force. They run out of there. And they try to get out, but it's to no effect. The Steel Force is still trapping them in. So then Barry has the idea. He tells Nora, focus, like, so this is basically the present. There's No, it's the past. And basically they get out in the future. So he tells Nora to go focus on that future, and they get out. So, yeah, then they t- she, he tells the rest of the team, he's just like, okay, I don't know what that was. And, you know, he's like, Because Barry, you know, he blames himself. He's like, you know, I should have been focusing on Iris this whole time. I should have been focusing on the sickness. But, I mean, you can't blame him for the Black Flames. Because the Black Flames stuff is going on. So, yeah. Anyway, Cecile, she asks, like, okay, so why is Dion turning evil? Of course, Barry doesn't know this. And they're actually thinking maybe the rest of the forces have turned evil, too. Which, we know that Chillblain is okay. So, yeah. Anyway, she goes over to talk to Joe, and yeah. So finally, we have Chester. He gets convinced that he should still go to streaming and everything, and yeah. So him and Allegra, they make up, they have this little whole love thing, which I I really am tired of this romance kind of thing. I don't really want to see it again, personally. So, anyway, yeah, Chester gets convinced that he should keep on doing the stream, whatever, and all that stuff. So, then it's revealed that somebody has stolen all of his files, and it was all a trick. So, Wookiee 77 or something? Yeah. It was Cal. Now, who could this be? I have no idea. Anyway, we move over to Caitlyn. Chilblain, he was trying to get in. So he basically just froze the doorknob. 
And he tells Caitlyn that he wants back in and he's going to help her revive Frost because whatever. Now, I'm asking, maybe is this him turning evil? Because people were saying that maybe the rest of the Force actually are evil or something. So, yeah. Caitlyn, you know, she's like, okay, okay. So, that is the end of the episode. So, this episode, it wasn't that bad. It had some problems in it, but for... You know, just a filler episode. It was actually pretty good. You know, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I actually like it. So, yeah, I actually really like this episode. But, yeah, I wonder if we're ever going to get Max Mercury. We probably won't. Definitely not in Season 8. I Yeah, no, I don't believe he's coming in Season 8. Yeah, I think that was just a little tiny Easter egg there. I mean, maybe if Nora and Bart get their own spinoff or something, maybe we might see Max Mercury there or something, but I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, that's going to be the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me down in the comment section what you guys thought of this episode. Was it good? Was it bad? Was it meh? Tell me some of your reviews. You guys got a video. Link it down in the script. Link it down in the comment section. Yeah. Uh, when I post it on Twitter, better retweet. When I post it on Instagram, better share it to your story. Share it with your cousin, your uncle, whoever. Also, on my recent Flash video, thank you guys for, I think, 23 views. 23 views. Whoever checked out my video, whoever checked it out, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all for checking out my video. Thanks a lot. And also, I want to say again, thank you for the 41 views on the other Flash video. Thank you. Yes. Gladly appreciate it. And yeah, bye. Bye, guys. Have an amazing life. See you all later. And also, RIP Naomi. I don't really like Naomi, but sure, I'll say it. And, uh, yeah. Yeah.